over 45. An electron is traveling at 1% of the speed of light. So we have the speed of light that is t times 10 to the 8, which is a kinetic energy in joules. So the formula of kinetic energy is Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared. Now, it says there that the velocity is 1% of the speed of light times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And let's just write it 0 0.01 for the 1%, 3 with 8 zeros. I wrote it this way because I want to show you that you can move the decimal point, so that will be one. That means you also have to erase the two zeros here. So therefore, I have three times 10 to the, how many zeros left? I have six zeros to the six meters per second. And that is my velocity. How about the mass? For the mass, it's something that you have to memorize. An electron has a mass of approximately around 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. So this is something that you have to memorize because it wasn't mentioned in the problem. But normally in the exam, they will, say, they will give this value. So let's compute. Kinetic energy is equal to one half of the mass. That's nine. Let's just say nine. Let's just use nine times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. times 3 times 10 to the 6 meters per second squared. So for the square, please remember, that means you have to square this. This is 9. You have to square this, and that is 10 to the 12. And then this one, we have 9 times 10 to the negative 31 and 1 half. Now let's combine this. This is... 10 to the negative 19. You just add the exponent, a negative 31 and a positive 12. That will be negative 19. And you have 9 times 9. I have 81 and a half of that. Now, let's look at the choices. Definitely, this is not an answer. This is not an answer. So we are left with A and B. So close, that is 10 to the negative 18. And then four, exactly four, and four with the decimal values. So as you can observe, if you have this, this is 40, around 45. I know that would be this 40, 40.5. That's times 10 to the negative 19. Now we're close. Let's move this. This would be um, 4, 0, 5. And that means you have to minus 1 of this to plus 1, to plus 1 here. So you have negative 18 joules. Now, that is our kinetic energy. Definitely, this is not the answer because this is an exact whole number. Our answer there is letter B. I hope you understand that this is not really the exact value because I just approximate, approximated 9.1 to just 9. So I just approximate 9.1 to just 9. If I put 9.1 there, I think we will reach almost the same value. But for now, that is the answer. So that is correct with the answer key. The answer is letter B.